You know, Jesus came to conquer hell and all of its works. He came to conquer hell and he has commissioned these 12 and all the bishops and all of us to join him in destroying the works of the devil. He initiated this through the apostles. Their role was to destroy the dis-ease of the devil because the devil brings dis-ease into our lives. And now Jesus has done his part. He waits for us to do our part. We've been given the name of Jesus Christ. What a, such a powerful name. To use against demon spirits. Demon spirits are easy to spot because they cause a feeling of dis-ease. No peace. We lose our peace. And then he told them, look, when you get ready to go and do these things I commissioned you, I only want you to go, in verse number 6 of Matthew 10, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I got to tell you something. Jesus is sending them to a very difficult group of people. He's sending them to the Jews. The Jews of that day and time were captured by demon spirit of religion. I'm going to tell you, one of the most difficult demons to overthrow is a demon of religion. Because the agreement that takes place between the individual person and that demon spirit is transferred down generation after generation. And it's difficult to defeat that spirit. That demon spirit will make you become political and it will make you mean to the point that Jesus said to those guys, I'm sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. That's what a demon of religion will do to you and I. It transforms us from a sheep to a wolf. You getting the picture? So they are going out to a very mean group of people. And it goes on to say in Matthew 10, 36, that even a man's enemies will be those of his own household. This is what happens when a demon of religion gets a hold of families and societies. They become mean. To the point, Matthew 10, 21 says, brother will deliver up brother, a father, his child. Children will raise, rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death, and you will be hated, it says in verse number two, 22. You're just going to be hated. And then he tells them in Matthew 10, three times, I'm sending you out, but do not be afraid. Do not be afraid that I'm sending you into this very hostile situation. And he goes on to tell them, he warns them in verse 32. He says, look, if you confess me before men, I'm going to confess you before my Father in heaven. If you don't confess me, me before men, I will not confess you before my Father in heaven. I didn't just bring, come to bring peace on the earth. I came to bring a sword. They were living in a mean time in their nation. We are living in a mean time in our nation. 